Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. First of all, I want to take a minute to announce the return of new comics, gradually, to comic shops starting this month. Slowly but surely, new comics and books will start arriving at comic stores and in digital platforms. We're very excited to finally share the comics we've been working on. For up-to-date information about new books and new release dates, please subscribe to the IDW newsletter, which is linked below. Speaking of comics, if you remember where we left off a few months ago, our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series had just hit issue 100. Well, not just. Uh, the series is still running strong. Issue 105 will be out in June, finishing up Sophie Campbell's first story arc as lead writer-artist in the series, and new issues by her will follow regularly. But issue 100 itself was a milestone in one of the longest creative relationships here at IDW, and comes from someone who really changed the entire comics industry. An artist who has done an enormous amount is a great talent, a supremely nice guy, and a terrific neighbor. I'm talking about Kevin Eastman. He's been an instrumental part of our TMNT series since day one, and he's one of the reasons I ever got into even making comics. TMNT started out in 1984 as a self-published comic, and the story of Kevin and Peter Laird creating the Turtles really resonated with young me. And when TMNT blew up into a worldwide phenomenon with cartoons and movies and video games and toys and breakfast cereals and pretty much everything else you could think of, well, I thought that was pretty cool too, because I knew that behind it all were these two people who just set out to make their own comics. And I watched everything those guys did for comics, for creators and for creator rights. There's a lot we take for granted now that Kevin had to fight for. So, I love those real-world, behind-the-scenes stories as much as I love the comics they were making, and I did love the comics. Well, IDW's made a book that seems like it was made for me in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Road to 100 Deluxe Edition. This is a beautiful hardcover of the landmark issue 100 by Kevin, co-plotter and scripter Tom Waltz, artists Dave Wachter and Michael D Dialanis, with some extras by Matea Sanaluco, Adam Gorin, uh, Dan Duncan, Corey Smith, uh, colors by Rhonda Pattison with Bill Crabtree, letters by Sean Lee, and co-plots and edits by Bobby Kernow. Now from that lineup, you might have guessed, it's a heck of an issue, digging through years of IDW's TMNT history, and this is the longest running TMNT comic ever. But what makes this book special is an oral history by Patrick Ellers, going into the amazing detail of the behind-the-scenes tales of the IDW years. Patrick interviewed everybody, from Kevin and Tom to all the amazing artists and writers who contributed to the series. The oral history was printed throughout the City at War storyline, one that culminated in issue 100, but here it's expanded and all in one place, and you really get a sense of everything that goes into telling TMNT stories. I love this kind of history, and I think you might too. Check out our uh, web store or your local comic shop or bookseller and grab a copy for yourself if you'd like to find out. As always, let's use this time to connect, keep the IDW community active. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll answer what I can. Speaking of that, Mr. Peepington asks, how did you feel working on Transformers More Than Meets the Eye? Well, I was lucky enough to be the editor of More Than Meets the Eye for most of its run, and I definitely felt honored to be there. It was funny because James Roberts and Freelancer Me were slated to be the two writers of uh, the upcoming Transformers series, but our editor Andy Schmidt left before the comics started. So James and I were talking on Skype all the time about our plans and we were coordinating things, but we were nervous that a new editor could come in and want to scrap everything. And I still remember telling James I knew who the new editor would be and that it would be me. Uh, more Than Me CI was a lot of fun. I'm really proud of all the work everybody did there. James and artist Alex Milne were passionate about what they were doing, and they remain two of my favorite collaborators and good friends to this day. I just got some new layouts from Alex a couple hours ago, and I should call up James, shouldn't I? That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here every week for news and updates. Thanks for watching.